Hi guys and welcome back to Josh's channel. So today I'm here with a skinny food company review. So my friend, um, she really recommends this and I see a lot of celebrities and all that endorsing it and promoting it. And my friend was like, it's really, really good with pancakes. So the other day I made banana pancakes and put some of the syrup that I bought. I haven't tasted every product and I'll explain why when I get on with the video. Anyway, my cap of the day is this black classic Vans vintage cap. I got it from TK Maxx, I believe, when the store was open. And I'm just chilling today in this iconic ladies Amy Winehouse oversized tea, which I got from ASOS. So yeah, if you are interested in the skinny food company, then continue watching my video. So yeah, um, first of all, I'm going to start on the positive note. So, I actually have already eaten these, which is really, really bad. As soon as they come, I was like, do you know what? I'm going to um, have a cheeky little snack. So, these are the baked pea powered curls. Simple, simple leaves made from 100% great British yellow pea. Cheese and herb flavour. So, it's really, really good. They're gluten free, which is amazing. Um, high in protein, high in fibre, and they're plant based, which is really, really good. Um, they're vegan as well. So yeah, these, they are an amazing, amazing taste. I'm not going to deny it. But for me, the only issue with these would be is the pricing of them. Um, couldn't really afford to, like, continue buying these as a snack, in my opinion. They're £1.9 a bag. For one mini bag, for me, I think that is a little pricey of the Skinny Food Company to, um want that amount for a bag of crisps but they are really really tasty so they kind of have taste um taste is there but for me the pricing value isn't so that's just my opinion on these but i do if you do want to give them a try out um then yeah i would really really recommend the taste of them they're really really good and then i bought these um i haven't tried them yet they are a skinny calf skinny meal high in protein gm free super fruits and green blend so you get 10 30 gram sachets i got the chocolate sunday flavor they have 29 vitamins and minerals in them low sugar per serving so the 85 calories per one and i actually pick these out before after i do workout sometimes i need a little bit of a boost so i do normally have grenade or then i make a smoothie out myself so i did decide to give these a go um i think they were £9.99 in there so for me I think that's quite good value so it's like a pound per sachet so that isn't bad for one if they taste good and for two if they do kind of lift me up after my workout then I would definitely 100% buy this product again because I do think it is value for money a pound per sachet when you look at other vitamins and um meal replacements and shake companies they are quite pricey so i think that's that is good price for that as long as they taste good yeah let me just quickly grab a drink i'm really loving a capri sun at the moment i don't know why anyway so i picked up two of these so there are the fiid range on there be better high in protein and fiber which again is amazing really really quick and convenient obviously we have a lot of time at the moment but when everything is you know okay again in the world then I think these are great for work to take with you. Obviously, I wouldn't have it in a whole one. I would um, have it over a few lunches or even a dinner because they're so, so quick and ready in two minutes. So 100% I'll take this to lunch with me. Italian sun-dried tomato and lentil ragu. Nourishing lunch bowl. 0% additives or preservatives. 55% vegetables, three of your five a day. 100% plant-based and gluten and dairy-free, which is amazing. And they are vegan as well. These are £3.79 per um, per one. So I'm kind of like that with the pricing. I think it is good because if you look at Tesco, because they have obviously the vegan range, Wicked, which is wicked. They honestly, I love, love, love Tesco's Wicked range and they are quite pricey, but the taste is 100% there. Them uh, mac and cheese. Oh my days. So good. So I would buy um, 
these again. I've got two of them. And what I would have for these is either pasta or I would make a jacket potato. And I'd probably use these as fillings on it. So as long as they taste good, then I would make purchases of these again. Because it is a very, very big sachet. And you could easily have this over three meals. So that's like six meals there. And it's like £7.50. So that is, you know, good, I would say. So them. Right, this is what I think is a complete rip-off, in my opinion. Sorry, skinny food. You do have, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a person that wants to sit on here and be like, oh my goodness, it's amazing, you should go and buy it because I don't want to be, be like to whoever does watch my channel, but thank you so much. Oh my God, you should buy this because I'm lying then and I don't want to lie to my people who watch me. So I got these, I was really, really shocked. They are energy boosters. So they said on there, there's like a couple and all you see is these um, drinks on there. So um, they're going to be like quite a good size. They're £1.25 and that's what you get for £1.25. Two tiny, tiny sachets. I'm not saying £1.25 is a like huge, you know, huge, huge, huge amount. But I was expecting something bigger than this. They, um, so the other Vidrate enhance hydration all natural ingredients which is amazing zero sugar and they are vitamin c b12 electrolytes and added vitamins and i've got the tropical and the mixed berry flavor they probably will give me energy boost they have got really really good vitamins and everything in it but i wouldn't buy these again only because they're not very price value you could not afford to keep this up to keep buying these but yeah I was a little disappointed with the size of them I'm not gonna lie for £1.25 for these two tiny things but that's just me then we got some sauces and I haven't opened two of them so on the at the time they were offering if you spend over £30 then you get a three custard syrup so they are really, really good, obviously, sugar-wise, um, gluten-free, fat-free, zero-calorie, vegan-friendly, sugar-free, diabetic-friendly, amazing. Flavour syrup with sweetener. So, I really, really was excited to try the custard. I haven't tried this one yet, so I don't know what it tastes like. And at the moment, every single week, I think they do give a free sauce away. And at the moment, I do believe it is sweet chilli they're giving away. So, I can't touch judgment on that one because I have not tasted it yet. And then mum picked up this one, she ordered. Um, skinny food, obviously, in the Caesar dressing. Because of they are virtually zero and some dressings can be really, really high in fat. 100% um, vegan, again, really, really good. And we can't pass judgment on this one because we haven't tried it yet. And they are £3.99 a bottle. So I do actually think that is a good price. I'll give them price value. I think it's good. Because if you look at, you know, some Heinz ketchup or some mayonnaise or salad cream, they are um, more of the higher prices. And this is a 425ml. And likewise, this is a 425ml. Anyways, let me get on to the two sauces that we did try. So first of all is the um original mayo and i only eat the hellman's vegan mayo which is to die for i'm not vegan i'm vegetarian but i love the vegan stuff as well so this original mayo virtually zero 100 percent vegan so i was like give another vegan mayo a chance this is actually more expensive than the hellman's the hellman's you can get for £2.50 this was £3.99 obviously and I don't want to be horrible. It is the most disgusting thing I've ever tried. I'm so sorry. Like, I know it might sound a little brutal. But uh, there's no flavour there whatsoever. So I know it's got nothing. Obviously, it's very, very, very stripped back. I'm going to use that word. With nothing in it at all. And you can tell that it's literally, you can't, you wouldn't even think it's mayonnaise. Like, if you didn't read the bottle and you just tried it, it tastes of nothing. 
and it kind of remind like I just don't like the look of it either like it don't look really really good for me like if I just thought when you see it on the website it doesn't look like I don't think but if I saw this in the shop and I wouldn't pick it up because of just how it looks it kind of reminds me of pvc glue and this is really really like i don't want you to think i'm being harsh but i do want to be honest on my review so yeah i wouldn't particularly i would not purchase ever 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 again that's just not for me yeah no it is like pvc glue which you used to do in school and when you, because I had um, some vegan nuggets the other day when it arrived and I put some sauce on it. Why am I doing that for? And um, dipped it in. Nothing was getting picked up on it at all. Literally nothing. It was just this runny stuff sitting on plate. I dipped it and it was like I hadn't dipped in anything. There's just no, there's just nothing there to it. Like, you know when you dip into a mayo, like the mayo actually is on the nugget and you can taste it. This, you can't taste anything. So yeah, sorry about that skinny food company, but I don't like your mayo. And then this I ordered. They have some red velvet one I really, really wanted, but I didn't want to order loads of sauces just in case I didn't like them. This is the sticky toffee pudding, again, which is amazing, vegan friendly, is a really, really good. And I made my banana pancake, so I spread this bad boy all over them. Oh my god, no, again, no. There's nothing wrong with this one, so I'm not gonna sit and say, oh my god, it's a horrible taste. There's nothing wrong with it. It is like syrup, but there's no flavour to it. No flavour at all. Like I put it on there and I couldn't taste anything on it. It's you know, it's good. Like it's good texture and everything, just the flavour is in there. And for me, I do like a big burst of flavour like whew, in my mouth so I can actually taste something. But this, I didn't even, you know, if I'd served it up to you, you wouldn't have known I put any flavouring on it. So, nothing wrong with the texture, just no taste at all. So in the end, I just had to wax some Sweet Freedom on there. That is insane, honestly. The Sweet Freedom um, chocolate sauce, wow, that is so, so good. What I always do now is I cut apple up, put that in the middle, it is to die for, it's amazing. So yeah, that's what I added in the end. So, not a very good review on these two products anyway guys hope you have enjoyed this skinny food company review um i will link their company in below just in case you don't look on there yourself and give it you know browse hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give the video a huge thumbs up and comment if you have bought from the food company before and what you thought of them I'll see you really, really soon, guys, in another video. Hope you're all safe and well. Bye.